So The Night Comes For Us is finally out on Netflix and I've been so happy to see everyone's responses to this film. I freaking loved playing Eleanor. This is the first time I was really able to completely transform myself for a role. And you know, it was awesome that by the end of the film, my hair was starting to fall out and whatever hair I had left was so damaged that it had to all get cut off. So basically over the past two years, um, my hair has changed drastically. And this is just me documenting becoming Eleanor. So basically I've always wanted to do an undercut and this felt like the perfect opportunity to be able to do this. Oh yeah? Oh my gosh! Fuck, no going back. Setelah ini mungkin akan absen mengambil iklan sampo ya, sampo apapun. <laughs> Sekarang Ana akan beralih ke iklan pomet. <laughs> aku tadi aku pernah ke nak potong, Bro. Jangan ngomong gitu dong, Ri. Berarti kalau potongan kayak gini Mas Taufik lebih murah enggak sih? Harusnya. <laughs> Harusnya ya. Yes. Menurut lo gimana, Bro? Mantap. Ya, kadang-kadang kita memang butuh sesuatu yang berbeda dari diri kita untuk bisa menambah semangat baru. Ya, kita tahu dengan potongan rambut baru bisa menambah semangat baru. What Timo and I then also discussed was um, dyeing it blonde, and Timo was like, "Berani enggak? You brave enough?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, let's do this!" But in doing it, it turns out it's a freaking long process. And um, it took, it took fucking ages. Ini bleaching round up ke lima ya. So the bleaching process took ages. It was basically um, 15 hours in total over two days. And I never bleached my hair before, so this is something super new for me. I thought it would be really cool, and it really was. I wasn't quite prepared for the damage that it would do to my hair, but also the response that people would give about this drastic look. But first, the damage. I have spent the past three months with this hair. It's so damaged. Selama bleaching, rambut aku menipis. And patah patah. Today I wrapped on my feature film, The Night Comes for Us, and. This is the film that I dyed my hair for, and I shaved my head for, and um, now I'm done. I can cut it, or rather, I'm forced to cut it. Oh my gosh. Now it's time for me to get rid of this damaged hair. I can't describe to you what I felt in this bathroom when I was cutting this. Oh my gosh. I felt like I'd given everything to this project, sort of emotionally, mentally, physically, and this hair it was just dead. It felt lifeless, it felt like straw, and it had all kind of been coming out anyway. So after cutting it, I went to a stylist friend who helped me fix it up. But of course, like I had to grow out the shave first and then everything was all uneven because it was breaking off. So it was a process of trying to find a new look. Awesome! I love the volume. Thank you, damaged hair. <laughs> and then right after that, I got offered a project where the director decided that he wanted me to have extensions. So I was like, oh my gosh just come from like damage doing something that damages my hair and I was afraid of damaging it all over again so the mulai process and honestly like the process of doing extensions is probably one of the most painful things I've ever had to do like I would rather be kicked and punched in a fight scene than have to do that especially the parts where I didn't have that much hair left I had a few millimeters of hair 
and then they had to glue extensions onto it like it was it was so painful for a month like I couldn't sleep and my hair was just it hurt my head hurt all the time and like it looked shit let's be real it looked really bad <laughs> So after that project, I took out the extensions and my hair was even worse than it was before. So this time around, I really had to cut it all off. By this point, I'd already had so many drastic changes that the response for people who'd seen my hair on social media was already becoming a bit much. And it turns out like whenever I posted something, even like the shaved head or the blonde hair, there were some people who reacted really well to it here in Indonesia and there were some people who were just, it was like major hate oration. Aduh, kok jadi begini? Gender swap. Kok rambut begitu sih? Udah bener long black aja, lebih feminine. Cakep panjang dulu. Gojek ternyata helmet head. Gimana stylingnya? Terus ada gini gini and terus bangun tidur ini nggak bener. Aduh, capek. And along the process of trying to understand this new hair, the hate kept coming. Dulu kece, sekarang kok freak, kecewa sama mbak. Padahal aku ngefans. Jelek amat rambut barunya. <laughs> Ini kondisi rambut habis kamas pertama kali dengan rambut pendek. Makin gak terawat. I really don't like mbak. Manisnya hilang. <laughs> Sayang banget kok jadi ikut-ikutan yang sakit. Dipikir bagus apa? Bukannya tambah cantik malah tambah gak karu-karuan. Ini caranya. I have no idea. Lagi nggak ada job ya? Atau lupa minum obat? I don't like girls with hair like this. Hana sehat. Semakin jauh dari kebaikan, intinya alam itu cantik. Tidak perlu aneh-aneh. Dengan rambut seperti ini malah terlihat lebih tua. Saya sarankan pakai hijab saja, pasti lebih cantik. Cantikan dulu, jelek loh. Karena agak jatuh dikit boleh? Yes, good. Nice. Ini. I thought what I did was fucking awesome. Like for a character, for a look, being able to go that extreme, I thought was a really cool thing. And I found it weird that people could be so judgmental, especially because I was doing this for a film. I was trying to do like the best that I can to create a really cool character. And all the hate was, it was quite disheartening to be honest. Not so much the things being said, but the fact that there are people in this world who will take the time out of their day to get onto social media and just call you ugly or whatever. You know, I think I feel bad for these people. Like, you have nothing else to do but to comment negativity on someone's picture. So that was an eye opener. That was a real eye opener. So this entire process of becoming Eleanor has taught me that one, being able to transform yourself as an actor and then see the final product on screen is, is fucking amazing and I wish I had more opportunities like that. And in fact, since having to cut all my hair off, I was then able to do so many other films with even more interesting roles because I was able to look different every single time. Hair is slowly growing back and yeah, despite the hate, Hate is gonna hate. No regrets. Whatsoever. Check out The Night Comes For Us on Netflix now. <laughs>